welcome to Kids Church. I am so glad that you're here to worship with us. And I'm glad that you're here too. Yes, look at what's, my friends. Guys, what's going on? Hello. Guys, Hi. are you glad that they're here too? I'm glad they're there too, yeah. This Wait, is, what are we doing? Yeah, this is going to be so fun. We are starting a series in the book of John, and my friends are here because we have lots to go on today. We've got songs with Johnny. Ooh. We've got Naomi teaching lessons and some activities. So guys, get up and stand on your feet because we're going to sing. Bye. Clap your hands, everyone together. Stamp your feet, turn around. Reach up high and bend down low. It's good to see you, hello. It's good to see you, hello. Clap your hands, everyone together. Stamp your feet, turn around. Reach up high and bend down low. We're friends with Jesus.
Gospel of John. Now John, the Gospel of John was written by a man called John who was an apostle, a disciple of Jesus and one of Jesus' closest friends. Now he writes a book about Jesus' life but it's different to the other Gospels. It's different to Matthew, Mark and Luke. Matthew, Mark and Luke write about who Jesus is and what he did. Whereas John writes his book about why we should believe in Jesus. So he says in John 20, verse 31, he tells us why he writes. He says, These things I've, are written for you that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you might have life in his name. Now John's book is a bit like a tapestry. I don't know if you've ever seen a tapestry. This is um, some fabric that I got in Bolivia when I was there a number of years ago. And you can see it has lots of patterns, it's got lots of colours. And actually, if you look at how the colours and patterns are put together, you can see that it makes repeating patterns. So we've got this sort of red and green one here, 
Then we've got a brown one, a green one, a red one. These two in the middle, and then it goes back to the red one again, the green one, the brown one, and a red and green one. Now John's Gospel paints an amazing picture about who Jesus is and what it's like to have life in his name. And, it, and John does it through using lots of different themes or ideas that he weaves together to make a big picture. Now we can focus right in on a little story uh, that John tells us and we can see all the amazing detail, but sometimes we might get a bit lost when we do that. So we want to step back and look at the big picture, the theme that John is making. Now, John and his book have some, some big repeated ideas, words or themes that keep coming up again and again. And sometimes when we're reading John, we feel like we can go, we're going in circles. We keep hearing the same things again and again. And he's doing that on purpose. And so these big ideas are light, grace, life, and truth. And they come up again and again through John's book. And they also help us focus in on the big central idea or theme. And that one was what I read to you in John 20 verse 31. That through faith we can have life in Jesus. And these big themes, grace and light and life and truth, help us understand what it's like to have faith and life in Jesus. And so as we're reading through John and we're looking at it together, each week I want you to be looking out for those big themes, those words, and keeping an eye out for them because it's going to help us as we read it to go, oh, he's talking about that again. Oh, he's making me think about this again. So keep an eye out for them. You could even, as you're working through John, you might be able to get some coloured posters, post-it notes or coloured highlighters and in, your, in your printed version of John and be able to highlight those words or colours as you're going through. So John's Gospel is all about putting our faith in Jesus so that we can have life in him. We're going to be doing some more in John chapter 1 very shortly. Oh, Johnny, Betsy, what? it's so good to have you here for Memory Verse. Oh, amazing. It's so good to be back. It's, it's been ages since I I've know. been here. I I've had this. these three guys, Sam and Perry and Quentin. They sound weird. They are weird. When I was doing Memory Verse and Game, they were the ones who would come and, and join me, and it's so good to have you back. Well, I'm glad to be back. Kids, looking forward to learning and remembering some more bits of the Bible with you. But what have what, what we got today? We are in our series in the book of John, so John like Johnny. Aha! Uh -huh. And today we are going to learn John 1, 14. So okay. for the next four weeks, mm -hmm. we're going to take time and break this verse up. Cool. with some actions so that by the end of the four weeks we know this verse by heart. Great. Does that sound good? Okay, so, we, are we gonna, so we're going to do this first bit today? Yes. Okay. And then a little bit more next week. Then we'll finish it in three weeks. Yep. And then by week four we'll know the whole thing. We'll know it. Great. We'll okay, know well, it. What's the first bit? It, so the whole verse is John 1 14 and it says the yep. word became flesh okay, and made flesh. his dwelling among us. Made his dwelling among so us. So that just the word is Jesus. So the Jesus became a person yep. and made his dwelling. So like made his house with us. Okay. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son. Ooh. Yeah. Who came from the father full of grace and truth. So, so Betsy, oh. I, I got to be honest, Betsy, yes. I'm a little, little bit out of practice with memory yes, verses. It's and been a while. I don't think I can do all that right now. Right. So since I think it'll take a while for us to learn all of that and understand it, let's just do that very, very first part. Right. That is, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Cool. Sounds good. Okay. So I have some actions. Yep. So it's the word. The word. Like think about like your Bible or like a book. The word became flesh. 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 Now, what's flesh, Johnny? What we what could we do for flesh? I don't know. I guess just you can, like pinch your skin. Yeah. yeah. The the word Very became flesh, flesh and made his dwelling Dwell like, a, like, a, like a house. Like a house. Like a house. Yes. He's with us. Yeah. He's with us. So he made his dwelling, dwelling among us. All right. So do you think you can do that with us? Okay. So the word, word became flesh. flesh. Got a better. You got it. And made his dwelling. dwelling. Among us. Oh, Great. We did it. We yes. did it. All right. 
Now, have you guys ever been in the dark? You know, like, not able to see, don't know where you're going. Do you like being in the dark? Well, I get up to Gwyneth every night and it's really dark and I can't see where I'm going. Sometimes I trip over things, I run into things. One time I even walked on a slug, that was really gross. It's not nice being able to see. And sometimes I get to the cot and I don't know which way Gwyneth is. I go to pick her up and it's actually her feet, not her head. You know, I can't see where she is and I can't know what she's like and what she looks like because it's so dark. And today in John chapter one, we're learning all about how Jesus comes like a light into the darkness. He comes so that we can see and know God. Now, John chapter one, the first part of John chapter one, we're told, well, it's a bit like, it's a bit like John's been sucking on a boiled lolly or he's wanting us to like peel an onion. It kind of goes round and round and round in circles. And he says the same thing sort of forward and backwards. He says, like, Jesus is God, God is Jesus. It's a bit like me saying, I'm Ewan's mum. Ewan is my, no, how would I say that? I'm Ewan's mum, Ewan is my son. They're both the same thing, but we're just saying it different ways. And John does a lot of that kind of thing in the first part of his book. But he does that to slow us down and to make us think. And remember I said the first part of John, he introduces lots of these big themes to us that he uses in his book. So he, t he talks about grace, he talks about light, he talks about life and truth and what it means to have life in Jesus. So he introduces all those themes and big ideas in the first part of his book. And he says that Jesus is God. He was with God from the very beginning and without him nothing was made. He says in verse 14, the word, that's Jesus, became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. And he goes on in verse 18, he says, no one has ever seen God but God, the one and only Son, who is himself God and is in the closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. So John wants us to see that Jesus is God and he's God the Son and he's been with God since the very beginning of time and through him everything was made and has life. Jesus is no ordinary man. We need to have a big view of who Jesus is and to see that Jesus has come as a man so that we can know God. Now, I thought a way we might be able to think through what John says in the first part of his uh, of chapter one is to use some colors. So in the beginning, there's God. God the Father, we're gonna use a crown to represent God the Father. God the Son. Let's make a light to represent God the Son. Because we're told he's the light. How's that for a light? And God the Spirit. So let's maybe draw a plant. Or uh, the other thing we can draw is water. They're kind of the ideas of life that we see in John. Now... They, God was there in the beginning and there was nothing. You might not really be able to see that and that's okay because God was there but nothing else was there, we're told. In the beginning, there was God. And then through Jesus, the word, God makes, um, we have light and life. Can you start to see those pictures now? So through the sun, we have light and life. But we're told that people reject God. They turn from him and instead of knowing light and life, instead they know darkness and death. They can't see God and they don't know him and without him they die. Now God loves people so much, he loves us so much, you and me so much, that he sent his son Jesus into the darkness to be light, to 
show us God so that we could see and know God. And we're told that everyone who puts faith in Jesus are in the light. They can see God and know him. We're no longer in the darkness, but in the light. And everyone who sees and knows God has life forever with him. Isn't that an amazing truth? That we have life with God through Jesus. So it matters who you say Jesus is. And we're told by John that people have different reactions to Jesus. Some people reject him and choose to stay in the darkness. Some people recognise Jesus and say, oh, I see who Jesus is. But it's not enough to say Jesus is God. Jesus is God's son. We actually have to receive him, we're told in John. We have to welcome him, put our faith and trust in him. And everyone who does that, we're told by John, who receives Jesus as their Lord and Saviour, has faith in him, uh, has life in him. So my question for you is where are you? Are you rejecting Jesus? Maybe you've recognised him, but have you received him? And can I encourage you to do that? To receive Jesus as your Lord and Saviour, to see him as God here with us, so that we can have life. And you can be sure that if you have and are living with Jesus as your Lord and Saviour, that you have life forever with him. Okay, let me pray, and then we're gonna do some other things. Father God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you that he came so that we can see and know, him, know you. Thank you that we're not in the darkness, but that we can know you and have life forever with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Whoa. Wait, ah, kids, Betsy, kids, Betsy, where are you? I can't see you. Johnny, Johnny, I'm right here. Johnny. Like over, over here? Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Up. Johnny. Where are you? Johnny, you can't see me in the dark. Wait, Take off let, your, let me, your, let me. your blanket. Oh, that's a lot better, actually. Uh, there you hello. are. Hello. Hello. Kids, hello, good to see you. Johnny was in the dark over oh. here, you couldn't see anything. Oh, you can't see much. But I was from. standing right here. You were here this whole time. Yes, yeah, okay. so you couldn't see me through that. Um, so, guys, today's lesson we're learning that Jesus, like God sent Jesus so that we could see and know God. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. So I thought we could play a game where we talk about being in the light. Okay, in the light. That sounds good. Yes, because sometimes we're out of the light sounds and we're in good. darkness. Mm, no. So, Johnny, what's a game we could play that talks about being in something and out that's of something? Okay. Um... Well, it's not about light, but we could play like mm -hmm. in the river, in the light, out of the light. I Aha! love that. Okay, cool. So it's just like in the river, out of the river, but we're going to be in the light and out of the light. Okay. Now, you don't have to put a blanket on and be in the darkness. You're still going to be like, like you're playing in the river, out of the river. Yes. But when we stand here, yes. it is in the light. Yep. And when we jump to our right. Well, it's left for them. Left for so. you, right for us. So going that way, yes. we're so like... out of the light. Okay. Okay, so, so in, in the, the light, light, out, out of, of the light. light. All right. In the light. In, in the light. Oh, so I would have okay. okay. I would have been out. You would have been out. Oh, no. So, okay, guys, stand up. Yes, yeah. We'll do Daughter like one or two rounds, one round practice. One round practice, yeah. And then we'll do uh, elimination. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. Are you, you going to call it? Okay, you say. I'll call this one, and then you do the next one. Okay. Well, that way we'll we'll share sure. who's responsible. Okay. So, in the light, out of the light, in the light, out of the light, out of the light. Oh, I would. Okay. I need to get better at this. Okay. okay. All right. So let's okay. try it now. So that was a good practice round. Let's play. Johnny, you can call in the river out Okay, the river. so this is this is in the light. In the light. Out of the light. Out of the light. Okay, ready? Ready. In the light. In the light. Okay. Out of the light. In the light. In the light. Out of the light. Out of the light. Oh, I almost in the light. Out of the light. In the light. Out of the light. Ha ha. I um 
I got myself. <laughs> he got himself. I'm not very That's good funny. at this game. Okay, last I round. Think I there too. Yes. Let's do, I know, I think some of you in and out. Call your sisters or brothers out if they didn't get it yes. either. Okay, last round. Okay. I'll call you, it. You call it. Ready? Okay, so we start in, in the light. In the light. Okay. In the light. Out of the light. In the light. Out of the light. Out of the light. In the light. Out of the light. In the light. Out of the light. In the light. Okay. A little slow there, Johnny, but you got it. All right. Okay, well, that was Okay, that was great, guys. So remember, we want to be in the light and that God sent Jesus so that we could know and see God. That's great. Hey everyone, we're gonna sing our last song together now, which is the goodbye song. So sing along with me.